Hello, this is Reza from Radacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to add a page navigation in your Power BI solutions using buttons, things like home page, uh, previous page, next page. Let's see how it works. Um, in a Power BI report, we have uh, we can have multiple pages. As you can see here, I have uh, many pages in this Power BI report, and you can navigate through these pages using this um, navigation uh, list of pages down below. Uh, and the user would have the same. Uh, for them, they would be seeing this either under the bar below here or in the left-hand side, depends on how, which version of Power BI website, service, the new look or the old look they are using. Now, you can customize it. You can build uh, navigation buttons that acts like this. Here, you can see that, for example, from this page, I can click on this and that goes to the previous page, which would be page six. And then on page six, I have this one, which if I click on it, it goes to page seven, right? So navigation is like this. You can add a home button. You can add a back button and anything like that. How you can build these navigations. Um, these navigations, uh, you can build it using buttons in Power BI. Now, Power BI um, had buttons for some time already. It's not a new feature. However, recently, um, a few days ago, they announced the... Uh, March release of Power BI and in the March release of Power BI you can uh, have a, an action for a button that is page navigation. Now let's first talk about what is a button uh, because you might not have used it. In a Power BI desktop you can add a button uh, if you are using the new uh, look, the new ribbon. It's under insert tab uh, buttons and you can select any of these buttons if you are using the old uh, view or let's say the Power BI desktop report server version, it is in the home tab still. Uh, you can add any of these buttons. Some of these buttons comes with some default actions. Let me just add, for example, a Q&A button, right? Uh, this button, for example, comes with a default action. You see here that there is an action uh, setting for that and there are uh, uh, set of actions you can choose. For example, for this one, whenever I click on it, it brings the Q&A up because that's a Q&A uh, button. Now, the thing is that this action uh, can be set to anything else. Like Q&A, I can change the action of this to be something else, to, uh, to be a web URL and navigate to a web URL, right? So the button itself is not really important. It's more like a shape with some extra configuration, of course. You can choose any of these shapes and... <clears throat> And then you can set the uh, customization um, action for that. Now, so that's button. Now, what are the actions? Action uh, can be a bunch of things, as you have seen this already here. Um, and we are not talking about all of those at this video. In this video, we are just talking about page navigation. Page navigation means that if you select the an action like that, then uh, you can enable this to navigate to another page. Now, let me disable these that are already set and then talk about how we can do that. So this is a button that just to start from the scratch, I add the button here, a left arrow button, right? Which I can um, set the action of that on and under that the type, I set this to navigation, page navigation, and then I choose the page that I want to go to. Like from, from this page, which is called duplicate of page seven, I can go to page seven or page six. Let's say I go to page seven. Right, and that's it. Now this would navigate to page seven, uh, and you can also set a mm, tooltip here. I can say, let's say, go to to previous page, uh, etc. Right, uh, which is quite helpful because when you hover on it, you'll see that this uh, is showing at the top over there. Now, uh, in Power BI Desktop to test uh, buttons functionality, you have to use control and then click hold the control key and then click on this. You see that this is now in page seven. In website or in mobile usage of uh, Power BI, users just click on this. The reason that here you need control click is that because normal click select the object, you do some configuration for the object. Uh, so control click is the way that you can test it here in Power BI Desktop. 
Now, um, uh, we have this page navigation option, so you can simply build things like this. Here I have this arrow, which the action is navigate to page six, uh, but the button itself is in page seven. And in page six, I have a button that uh, navigates to page seven. So that is how this is built, that I click on this, it goes to previous page, it click on this, this goes to next page. Very simple um, setup. Now, uh, this is not just limited to buttons, uh, because the action is important, you can add any shapes. Here I can go and add just another shape, let's say this shape. And then on the shape, I can set up the action. And again, this is not just shape, this is also images. You can add any image you want. This is an image, for example, an icon of a home button I just downloaded uh, from the internet. You can get any images and on the image you can also have the action. Now, uh, here comes the limitation. Right now, um, on, uh, right now, I mean at the time of this um, uh, shooting this video, let's say, um, these um, um, actions that you define on a shape or on an image doesn't include page navigation. I'm pretty sure that that would come very soon, but uh, until that time that this comes, how you can do that? The thing is that um, you can do this with the old method before this page navigation becomes available. We could have done this process using something called a bookmark and the action to bookmark. Now, uh, let me show you how we can do that. For example, let's say I have this map page and I want to consider this as my home page, right? I want everything to come to this page as a home page. So what I'll do is I'll go to the view tab. First step is I'll create a bookmark and under view tab, you see the bookmark uh, pane here. You might already have some bookmarks. I'll add a bookmark here. Mm, and let's call it map page or you can call it main page, whatever you like, this is just a name. What this bookmark means, this bookmark means that whenever I'm in any other pages, as, as soon as I click on this bookmark, I go to that page with that status, right? Now in this page, I might have a slicers and things like that as well. And I might want the selection of those slicers to be also part of the bookmark. And by default, that is like that. When I click on these three dots, I see data is also part of the bookmark. That means if there is something selected in the slicer, whenever I come to this page, that would be the selection criteria. Now for the page navigation, usually, usually uh, you don't want data to be included. Sometimes you might, but most of the time you don't. So I disable that one. So this is just a bookmark without any data. Now I go to any pages that I want, like here. I click on image or shapes that I want. I enable the action. Under the action, I set type to be bookmark. And I choose the bookmark of that page, right? So now when I click on this, control click again in Power BI Desktop, this goes to that page. So you can um, build navigation options like this really simple. The other button that can be helpful is, um, is the back button. And that is also one of the actions and back button. Basically the action of that is that it goes back to the page that you are coming from. Like for example, if I copy this and put it in the map page, Let's make this map visual slightly smaller and bring this over. And the action of this is back. So whenever I click on home, that goes to the map page. When I click on back, that goes to the page that I came from, not the previous page or the next page, right? So these buttons are quite helpful in building a navigation menu for your Power BI solution. And I highly recommend using these. Um, it's very simple to use those page navigation options. Even if you don't have those, you can use the icons with bookmarks and build it yourself. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.